What's up guys, it's Tommy here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to airdrop photos and videos from your iPhone to your Mac or from your Mac to your iPhone. I'll be showing you guys both in this video. The only requirements is that you must have an iPhone running iOS 7 or above and you must have a Mac 2012 or above running OS X Yosemite or above. Also, both devices must have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on. I also believe you must be within 30 feet of range if you do have an older iPhone or Mac and you're unable to use AirDrop but you still need to transfer photos and videos, feel free to check out my other video. I do show how to do that through USB. I will go ahead and link that video on the top right corner of the screen as well as in the description below. Having said that, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is make sure that AirDrop is on on both devices. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the iPhone first. If you do have a newer device, what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and open up Control Center by swiping down on the top right corner of the screen. And if you have an older device, you'll just go ahead and open up Control Center by swiping up from the bottom. But since we do have a somewhat newer device, we're going to go ahead and swipe down from the top right corner of the screen. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead and hard press on this square over here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And then we'll get more options. Then you'll notice that one of the options is the airdrop option. So if you go ahead and click on on it, you are going to want to make sure that it is turned on either to everyone or contacts. So I do have it turned on for everyone, so it should work perfectly fine. You can, however, use contacts only as well. It's really up to you. Just make sure that your Mac does have your iPhone as a contact. Once we make sure it's turned on on the iPhone, we'll go ahead and make sure it's turned on on the Mac. The easiest way to make sure it is turned on on your Mac is to just go to the magnifying glass on the top right corner of the screen. You'll be able to access Spotlight Search and from here all you have to do is just go ahead and type in AirDrop. Go ahead and click on that. So you can automatically see that it is turned on since we do have our iPhone right over here. But to double check, all you have to do is go over here to the bottom and it'll say allow me to discover by and then as you can see I have contacts only but you can just go ahead and change it to everyone if you want or no one. So just make sure it's not on no one. And if it is on contacts, just make sure that, again, your Mac does have your iPhone as a contact. So now we have verified that both our Mac and our iPhone do have AirDrop turned on. Now the next thing is just to make sure that our Bluetooth is turned on. So again, we're going to go ahead and go to the Spotlight Search. And now we're going to go ahead and type in Bluetooth. And then we'll click on Bluetooth. And you can see that it is turned on on our Mac. And we also do have our Wi-Fi turned on as well. So we have nothing to worry about there. And just make sure on your iPhone that you do have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on as well so we're good to go on both devices so now it's very easy to go ahead and send a photo now if we go to our photos on our iPhone and we want to send one let's say we want to send this photo all you have to do is click on the photo and then you'll see the share button on the bottom left corner of the screen go ahead and click on that button and then you'll see the airdrop option right over here and it has both both options. So we went ahead and clicked on this one and it is sending right now. It says it has already sent and you can see the notification right here on our MacBook. If you don't click on that notification fast enough, that is completely okay. Just go to your downloads and you'll see it right over here. So this is the photo that we just went ahead and transferred very quickly. Uh, from our iPhone to our Mac. All right guys, so now I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to airdrop from your Mac to your iPhone, which is also very, very easy to do. We're gonna go ahead and transfer this photo. Also, this is a thumbnail to a new channel that I will be making. I'll be posting vlogs and other sort of videos like that. Once it's up, I will go ahead and link that in the description below, so feel free to check that channel out and subscribe. Anyways, all you're gonna wanna do is hit the share button on the top left corner of the screen, and it is this button right over here. Once you go ahead and click on it, you'll see you get the option to airdrop. So we're gonna go ahead and hit airdrop and then you'll see that our iPhone has showed up right over here and then all you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on it and then it will say waiting and it will begin to send and then you will sh see it show up right on our iPhone like so very very easy to do some quick troubleshooting tips if you are having issues is that you want to make sure that you do disable your personal hotspot if you do have one turned on of course make sure that your bluetooth and wi-fi are both turned on on both devices make sure you are in range and if you do have a vpn turned on try turning that off as well but other than that if this video was helpful for you please go ahead and smash the like button it really does help out a lot subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one peace